you know any championship team you're you're the, you're the winner and in order to win there's there was a huge price to pay along the way and and uh whether it's luck or strategy um you know there, there's only one memorial cup winner every year so i think that's what makes it special when you look back and you look at the chemistry and the friendships and the bonds and you know all the ups and downs and then to come out on top is 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 special Probably the first I heard of Memorial Cup was when I was uh, when I was listed or traded to Prince Albert. Prince Albert, uh, the Raiders, they were a small community Western Hockey League team. Um, had great junior A success over the years. Uh, really stumbled out of the gate when they first joined the Western Hockey League. Uh, you know, the first two years were pretty rugged, and then um, Terry Simpson had a plan. And um, he, uh, it was mostly Saskatchewan, uh, Alberta kids. We had a few from Manitoba and, and a few from BC. But he had this vision of what it was going to take to win the Memorial Cup, and he brought it together pretty quickly. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, the Memorial Cup is a hard, hard championship to win. You know, there's 60-odd teams, and for him to uh, get a new WHL franchise, put together this... Uh, this team within three or four years is, uh, I was just happy to be part of it. I'm from, born in Foam Lake, Saskatchewan. Oh, okay. So I'm a Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan boy. It's only about uh, two hours from Prince Albert. Um, so when I was uh, starting my minor hockey, I, uh, uh, my dad sent me to Notre Dame. So I started my Bantam career in Notre Dame and uh, played a couple of years there and then uh, I uh, eventually made my way up to Prince Albert and I played with the Midget Raiders prior to joining the Raiders as my 17 year old year. No, they've already been in the league for a yeah. couple of years, so I'm not sure it's about the third or fourth year. And then things really come together fast. Uh, the one thing I'm most proud of with the Raiders is it was such a well-balanced team. It, uh, all four lines could play, score, all 60 goalies, you know, the, you know throughout uh, when we were in the playoffs. You know, each line contributed at different times within the within each round, and even at the Memorial Cup. Uh, just thinking about it the other day, um, you know, I think each of the lines scored a goal in the Memorial Cup when we won six one over uh, Shawinigan. So it's pretty special to play on a team where uh, you know it was really truly a full team team effort. Yeah, I think the thing about uh, junior hockey is you know. Um, it's it's not the NHL, so there's there's mental breakdowns once in a while. You know, you have 16 year olds, 17 year olds, um, and, and you basically your kids. You're just learning how to play this rugged, competitive, um, all in type of hockey, and uh, and that's what you need because sometimes you, you, it's just human nature. Some lines just aren't there that night, and if you're a one or two line team, you know you certainly can get by a couple rounds. But we were four line team and. And I think that was one of our real, real hidden secrets. You know, to be honest, we, we got to the Memorial Cup, and I, I honestly don't think there's any expectations on our team. We didn't go there. Uh, we didn't go there. Um, you know, really being the favorites or or the go-to team. Uh, we did drop our first game, and that was probably the best thing that could happen us happen to our team in the Memorial Cup. When we dropped the, one of the, I think it was one of the first two games, everybody got recharged and focused and everybody kind of looked around and uh, said, you know, we can really play with these guys. You know, let's, uh, let's uh, you know, raise our game. And there just seemed to be a confidence in the dressing room, a quiet confidence that, uh, you know, we were going to win this. We were going to win this cup. And the way it unfolded, it was rugged. There ended up being... Um, we had line brawls against Sault Ste. Marie and, you know, all sorts of typical hockey, junior hockey back then. And we're a team that was built like that. We had toughness and we had guys that with good speed and score and, and whatever come at us, you know, we were able to seem, to seem to handle it. So, you know, I think it was a lot of strategic planning, uh, being that we're just from Prince Albert. We just quietly walked into the Memorial Cup kind of stabilized, we got stabilized, we got our confidence behind us, and then once we got rolling, I think the our last uh, round robin game, the semifinal game, I think we won 8-3, and then we won the final 6-1, and, and you know, it was over. The game is such a mental uh, 
toughness. You have to be so mentally tough, and you can see it watching the playoffs and the Stanley Cup. You know, whoever gets the momentum, you know, has a good chance to win the game. And it's, uh, you know, it all comes down to believing in yourself, having the confidence, uh, who you're playing with, having that bond, the chemistry. You know, all those little intangibles are really the secret to winning championships. Everybody had their, everybody just kind of had their role within the, within, I guess, the pecking order or the chemistry of the team. And um, there's never a time, you know, that there's guys who were upset because they're playing on the third line and they should have thought they should have been playing on the first line. It was so well uh, thought out where everybody was slotted and what everybody's role was and the age. It just was one of those situations that it, it just fit, it worked. I think come, things that come to mind, we're a small town team. Um, you know, we were in the league just for, for two or three years. Uh, we got it together. It's a hard, hard championship to win. Uh, we had our ups, we had our downs. Uh, you know, I remember uh, there were so many times practices, guys would be fighting against each other in practice as a day before a game, and then everybody would pick up their gloves and everything was good, we're off playing again. It was just a down-to-earth kind of Saskatchewan team. You roll up your sleeves and you just figure out how to get it done. And, you know, that probably playing in Prince Albert those years probably changed my life. It's just uh, you learn how to overcome so many adversities. You see people, our teammates, uh, overcome adversity. Terry Simpson taught us how to overcome challenges, and that's kind of what hockey is today. There's... As soon as you get over, uh, climb a mountain, and you're there's on you're onto another adversity mountain climb. So that was one of the real lessons, and that I got out of playing on that team. You know, at the time it was uh, you won a championship. It's pretty exciting, great. But then you know, as you go through your career, and you know, you go on to play in the NHL, and and then you look back and how hard it is to win a championship when you don't win one for a while, and then you know. 30 years back, you know, you look at that time and, uh, you know, it's really special, uh, you know, as it ages and as you get older, I think, you, you know, all the championships you won or the successes you had uh, are even more special because, you know, it's so hard to, to achieve. I think that's what makes it special. I think that's what really makes it special. Like, um, you just hold that bond with those 20 guys that were on the ice that day when we won in Shawinigan. You know, you're, um, you know, any championship team, you're, you're, the, you're the winner. And in order to win, there's, there was a huge price to pay along the way. And, and uh, whether it's luck or strategy, um, you know, there, there's only one Memorial Cup winner every year. So I think that's what makes it special when you look back and you look at the chemistry and the friendships and the bonds and, you know, all the ups and downs. And then to come out on top is, is, is special. It's been a long, long time ago, but, you know, life has just really flew by. And actually, I can remember, uh, you know, the line that I played on, it was played with Rod Dahlman and Kim Essel, and we ended up scoring a goal that game. So I can remember that say that that goal that time when we all, the puck went in the net, and we... Uh, we congratulated ourselves, and then obviously I can remember the big celebrations in the dressing room, drinking out of the Memorial Cup, and it was just, it was pretty, it was, it was wild. It was a great time. Not like the goggles today, but <laughs> it was, it was, uh, it was pretty sick. No, not at the time. I do know now because I think the uh, the Canadian Junior Hockey is did a, a really good job, um, you know, uh, marketing or telling the story of where the Memorial Cup come from, what it means, what it stands for. Uh, you know, the coaches wear the poppies on the bench uh, during Memorial Cup. So there's little things like that, I think, that shed light of, uh, you know, what the Memorial Cup really means and what it is today.